hot off from the press, right off from our fax machine. We just got this in from a Pony Express rider. It's a new lens from Tamron. That's fa- What? Oh, three. There's four new lenses here from Tamron. Let's take a look at these four lenses. Let's dig into the specs and see exactly what we've got. I think you're going to be very excited. Let's start with the one that's been anticipated absolutely the most, and that is the final lens in this three lens series. We've got the 17 to 28, the 28 to 75, but we needed a telephoto lens in this Sony E-mount series, and that's what's coming. It's a 70 to 180 millimeter 2.8 Sony L-mount, native to Sony, made for that large format, or that large sensor size. It's gonna be great on your a7 III, your a7R III, your a7R IV. Those, it's really the perfect lens. It's the final one in these, uh, this series. The Holy Trinity, the three lenses of all time, the all time three guys, the three girls from Italy, uh, whatever it is. It's the three lenses. So, but this is the one that we've really anticipated and I had a funny feeling that was gonna come this year because I think now you have an incredible package here with those three lenses. But it's extremely compact, it's small as well, which has been really the, the crowning glory of these lenses is sharpness and quality but compact. There's no reason to buy a mirrorless camera and then to slap a huge lens on it. These lenses really give you the ability to keep that ergonomic, small, mirrorless camera kind of platform. So this one right here is like five and a quarter inches. The new 70 to 180 millimeters is going to be 5.9. So it's barely a half an inch longer in that long telephoto lens. So it'll be very easy to carry these three lenses in that package with your uh, mirrorless large format, large format, with your mirrorless full frame camera. There we go, I finally got it. I'm pretty excited because they're gonna have this at uh, Photo Plus in New York City. I wanna see this uh, 70 to 180 millimeter lens. I wanna be able to take some images with it if possible. If I do get a chance to do that, I'll certainly get those images out to you. It's coming early 2020, so we'll see that early in the new year and finally round out this series of lenses. I'm pretty excited about that because it really makes the full package there. So other things about it, it's this is another thing. I've been so excited about the fact that they have kept a 67 millimeter size uh, on all of the lenses. So you'd have that same filter size. So if you buy one filter, ND filters, polarizer filters, any of the things you need to use to augment these. I have some gradations I use when I'm doing kind of uh, sunrise or sunset on my A7R three. It just, it's gonna fit on every single one of these lenses and you don't have to buy different sizes, which is fabulous. That is really, really super fabulous. Best of all with these lenses, the 70 to 180 is going to have all the compatibility with your autofocus features on your uh, full frame mirrorless cameras and Sony. And that's really what you need. You put it on and it's gonna work with all the features on the camera. That's really what you need with this series and that's what these two lenses have delivered. That's what they're saying that the 70 to 180 is gonna deliver as well. So, extremely important, exciting news on this 70 to 180. Can't wait to have that in this series. I really can't wait to have it in the series. But this came absolutely out of nowhere. I had no idea. But this is three, three prime wide angle lenses. We have a 20 millimeter 2.8, a 24 millimeter 2.8, and a 35 millimeter 2.8. These are two and a half inches tall. Two and a half inches tall. I have army men taller than that. Actually, I don't want to say that I have army men taller than that, but if I did have army men, it would be taller than that. So anyway, these are fabulous lenses and for several reasons. You've got that 20 millimeter, which gives you the ability to give you a wide vista, uh, wide, super wide view, and it's small, so you can carry it in a, in a compact way. It becomes a street kind of lens, especially the 35. For a street photographer who wants to walk around and just take uh, images really quickly, that on an a7 III is just a fabulous companion piece. So those three lenses all are gonna run around $349. That's where they're coming in at. And a lot of different features here. I think one of the important features, one of the most important features, is their focusing distance. So the 20, 24, and 35 are like 4.3, 4.7, and 5.9 inches respectively as far as how close they can focus. That does a couple of things for us. If you look at the magnification ratio for all three of these, like a 1.2, that allows you to get great compositions but get in super close, which can either do you one or two things. You have your person up front, and you can see a huge vista behind them. Ever since Emmanuel Zubeski did Revenant and Gravity, which Gravity didn't have as much context, but Revenant certainly did. This idea of a close person to the camera in this vast vista 
uh, is a, an incredible look. It's, an, it's actually a look that I've loved and shot for a long time. It's kind of environmental portraits that are in context. These three lenses are going to deliver that. You have the 35, the 24, and the 20 millimeter. These have a 64 millimeter on the front of them, consistent with all three of the lenses. And like I say, the overall length of these is 2.5 inches. They have the silent autofocus, so it's a very silent. OSD is what it's called, optimized silent drive, which gives you fast autofocus but quiet autofocus in all these lenses. And that gives you the ability to use them for video as well as stills because you get that silent uh, autofocus on set. You're not getting that humming of the motor when you're trying to do video. So excellent, uh, excellent setup there. The, the Prime series, again, supports all of the auto functions that you're going to get on most of your Sony cameras. Uh, there may be some that it doesn't, but your newer, newer Sony cameras are certainly well. Uh, the A7 III, A7R3, A7R4, those cameras. This is not a bad series of lenses to get into uh, with your A6600. Now it's an APS-C crop sensor, but if you have like a 70 to 180, you now have like a 104 to like almost a 300. That's a pretty incredible range, but the, the smallness of the lenses allow them to really fit that small camera and they're great on the camera. It does crop them because it is an APS-C sensor, but they're made for full frame sensors, which is what is so exciting and the most important thing about them. That is really the most important thing. So two of these lenses come out very quickly. The 24 and 35 millimeter lenses are gonna be out by November 20th of this year. And then the 20 millimeter comes out in January of 2020. So these are November, January, and then following up shortly after the 70 to 180 is gonna come out early in 2020. So incredible offering from Tamron. We have the finish of this kind of trifecta of lenses that we've needed and now a beginning of prime lenses. These are 2.8 prime lenses, 20, 24, and 35. And give us now a look at the world of wide angle lenses in that Sony E mount, native to Sony. So, we're going to see more of these offerings. Prime lenses are fabulous because it causes you to have to put a lens on, think about what you're doing, frame your shot, choose the lens that's going to work for your shot, and then execute the image. It really makes you think about your images a lot more, and I think it's an excellent way to work. So, I'm super excited about these four new lenses just announced from Tamron, but the 70 to 180 I'm going to get my hands on at Photo Plus, so stay tuned for some social media posts on that. I'll be putting those up on Instagram. You'll see them on Facebook. I want you to see this lens in my hand and see exactly what they're uh, coming out with. So, there you have it. Great lenses from Tamron in a fabulous mirrorless small package. Excellent offerings, so keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking!